take your seat. What do you enjoy when God speaks for you and speaks to you? Number one, struggle dies. You can't struggle in life. Anybody struggling here, anybody that life is full of struggle, anything you want to get in life, you are struggling. There are people listening to me. Anything you want to get in life, you are full of struggle. Everything has to be with struggle. As you begin to pray that God will speak for us and speak to us, your struggle will die today. If your amen is not that you are the one I'm talking to. Luke 5 verse 5. Number 2. When God speaks for you and speaks to you, you become what God has ordained you to become. You become what God has ordained you to become. Look at me. You are not a bastard. You are not an empty figure. You are not an empty somebody. You may come from a family where your father married 10 wives and they gave birth to you. There is still a destiny in your hands. Am I you may not have not gone to the best school, but there's something you carry. Your family may be the poorest, but there's something you carry. God has something for you that you are not permitted to remain the way you become. A man gave a very, a very, a very striking testimony in the fourth service. He sat at the front. He came to this church begging. He said, according to him, that he's the, how many, some of us were here, that in his compound, he's the poorest. In his family, he's the poorest. But he came here. Not been long, just few months. Today, God has changed his life. Yeah. What does that mean? There is something God. You may not have money in your pocket, but there's something God wants you to become. You may not know anybody, but there's something God has put in your life. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 5. 